I wanna take one more step before I let you guys loose on, on actually using this, right? This number is special, this number is special, but what about all those numbers that aren't special, like two and three, we tried those out, right? What is the derivative of something like, say, two to the x? We know, because we graphed it, we know it's not two to the x, right? That would have been nice, but do you remember it was just a bit below, okay? And in the same way, the derivative of three to the x was not just three to the x, right? So, so what is it? What is it? It's, yeah, I can't add any more changes to that, okay? Um, what is it? Well, underneath this, can you make a little subheading? Underneath exponential. The little subheading is, very originally, different bases. Say that again. Oh, it's just practice. It's just practice. It's a heptagram, by the way. That's what it's called. All right. So what we want to do is we want to take something which has a different base. We know what happens with e to the x. It's so lovely. It's really boring. It's nice for a change. That's something boring. You differentiate it. Nothing happens. But I want to consider what happens when you have other bases, like 2 or 3 or 8 or whatever. Okay. So I'm going to consider this guy, a to the x, where a is any number, not just, not just E, which we know is a special guy, okay? Now, this takes a bit of thought, but it's all of the groundwork we've laid with exponentials and logs which is going to help us here, okay? This is an exponential equation, an equation with an exponential in it, right? You can take any exponential equation and rewrite it as a log equation with logarithms in it, right? All the same numbers, but there's gonna be a log involved. How would I take this guy and write it with logs? What do you reckon? Log a base. Base? Space. A. a. Just pause before you go on straight. This is tricky, right? One of the ways I remember what happens next is the base of this is the same as the base of that. That, that doesn't change, okay? So then what's the next thing that happens? Y, very good count. And then you've only got one number left, right? It's X, very good, okay. Very good. So what I've done is I've changed the subject. It was y before. Now x is the subject. Now, do you remember what we've got here is when the base is e, that's really nice, right? When the base is e, everything is easy. If only I could write this logarithmic equation without some weird weirdo base. If only I could change the base. <laughs> oh, wait. We have a rule for this, right? We can take this guy. We have a whole thing for changing the base of this log. How do I do it? Does anyone remember how to change the base? Let me give you a clue. It's a fraction. Very good. You, you got this number down the bottom. So log of this down the bottom. And then log of that on the top. And then the base of the new log, you can choose it to be anything you like, right? You can choose it to be 2 or 10 or whatever. What base do you think we should, sorry, what base do you think we should choose? A base that might be convenient to us, right? We're going to choose the base E. Okay, so we're going to write this. Log base E on the top, log base E on the bottom. And then these two numbers, the top one goes to the top, and the bottom one goes to the bottom. So this is our change of base law. Okay, So I've just changed the bases of all of this. Now I'm talking in E's. This is, this is a language I like talking in. Okay, Now, it just needs to be a little bit of twisting and change to get to what I want. We change the subject from Y to X. It's a bit weird though having the subject as x. I actually want it back to look like this, right? So help me out. Can you help me change the subject of this equation back into y? Don't move. This will be really quick. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this guy, right? That's a bit gross. So I'm going to write that multiplied on the other side like so. So far so good? Okay. I'm going to be even lazier. I'm just going to continue over here. And I'm going to write it not as log base e. There's a lazier way to write it. There's an n. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Looks like this. You okay with that? Now, see this? It's a log equation. Remember how we said every exponential equation you can rewrite as a log equation? You know what? Every single log equation you can rewrite as an exponential. And we'll get y to be the subject again. y is going to be equal to... Hmm. What's the base here? We're right over there. It's E, right? Remember how this base turned into this base? So that base has turned into this base. What's the power up here? It's going to be whatever's over here, right? X log A. 
You can differentiate this, you just did it twice, three times, right? I can find the derivative of this. What's the derivative of the inside function? X. The one right there. A is just the number, right? Like 2 or 8 or something like that. So if A is just a number, then log of a number is another number, right? So it's like 2 or 3 or 8. So what's the derivative of this th thing here? It's, well, when it was 5x, right? You told me the derivative was 5. If this was 8x, you tell me the derivative is 8, right? So if this is log a times x, then the derivative will be just log a, right? Log a. That's the inside. What's the outside? It's e to the power of a thing. What happens when you differentiate e to the power of a thing? You get e to the power of a thing, right? Really it's, I know, right? Do you like it? It's, it's very specific. Now, we're going to leave it for another day why that ends up being your answer down the bottom.